Christ. And so I remember that part of the letter. And so it has touched so many people, especially behind bars. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember in specific letters, but I do remember, uh, remember even to this day, I hear parents uh, will say how they would make their children sit down and mm -hmm. watch it. You know, and I mean, it was, a, it was almost as uh, like a family hour where they would sit down with their kids and they would make them watch this program mm -hmm. and so that they can really see what was going on out in the streets and the kids were uh, were really attracted to it and I, I mean even to this day I still hear oh, parents yeah. would tell me yeah. about oh, they yeah. would make their kids watch that. Yeah. Prez, remember um, those undercover cops <coughs> they were saying when they had broken into oh, the slick or they boys? went to arrest the slick boys and they had pictures of the awakening yeah. mm-hmm what tell us oh the slick yeah. boys they were um there's a they're, they're actually a rap group uh they're they're two police officers in the, on the north side of chicago and they're called the slick boys and uh they said that they went to do an arrest and they, and they uh of course they kicked the door down and when they went in there there was a lot of parap awakened paraphernalia in there hmm. you know inside uh, the apartment itself um, um there was a bunch of kids in there so apparently you know all the kids there watched it but you know <laughs> They uh, actually one of the guys I grew up with. He was in the, in the same gang I was in, and uh, he told me that uh, um, some of the kids were, you know, uh, they had watched the program because they, you know, they, apparently they took the kids from the people who were there, and uh, they wanted to take their paraphernalia with. Can we take our pictures with us? You know, mm -hmm. they weren't allowed to because they were going to uh, uh, DCFS. But um, wow. I thought that was uh, wow. that was pretty mm -hmm. awesome. I mean, we just <clears throat> knew the response and the effect that it had on children just through the skate parties alone. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. We would mm -hmm. have hundreds, sometimes thousands of kids come to our skate parties and we would throw them, you know, quite, quite every, often. And we get the same kids, sometimes mm -hmm. faithfully, we get mm -hmm. the same kids buying the pictures all over again mm -hmm. because that's how much they related to the characters and looked up to the characters mm -hmm. I mean even through the mistakes that we made hopefully which I'm sure they learned from yeah. at that young age and just to touch back on what um, Brother Simmons said certainly still to this day you hear people saying like I meet people every day at my job and it's like <clears throat> um, my age yeah my mom made me watch that show mm -hmm. if i was going out i still had to stay in and watch the awakening you know yeah. there was something that we had to do and it's just a blessing to know that we were a part of something right. like that right. you know that affected yeah. so many people and that god chose us mm -hmm. to be a vehicle to bring his message across absolutely you know one, one thing that 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 really uh, a lot of people when when they would come to you on the streets they say why does a program come on so late you know the reason why Apostle put it on so late because a lot of the kids were leaving mm -hmm. the house at around 10, 11 o'clock. Right. But now mm -hmm. they know the awakening was coming on. Mm -hmm. They would stay home. They wouldn't go party. They wouldn't go do whatever mm -hmm. it is they were, they were gonna go do. The young lady wouldn't go have sex. The young guy wouldn't go gang bang or get high. Mm -hmm. They would stay home and watch the program. Mm -hmm. And by the time the program was over at 1230, it was like, you know, <laughs> I'm staying in the house now. So, it's too late. Yeah, it's too late. I don't want to go get But then, game see, game but then well, well, their, their comment would be, why is it, you know, why is it so short, you know? Yeah. And so yeah. they, you know, they're, they're, they're hungry for the next week. So right. what they right. do is they make it a point if they're going to do anything, they won't do it on Saturday night. Right. You know? <laughs> but, you know, uh, uh, it, I, I, personally, I know that he's changed a lot, a lot of, oh, yeah. a lot of kids, you know, because yeah. You know, we do get that reaction, you know, every day, mm -hmm. honestly, still. every day, still, even now, oh, yeah. when's it coming back on, right. what are you guys doing, yeah. what's up with Marquita, right. what's up with Candy, you right. know, you know. We it's have our kids. to me, though, that mm -hmm. we still get recognized, because I'd like to think I change just a tiny bit. Not a bit. <laughs> a little bit. Not a bit. <laughs> Is it Marquita? You got a little fatter, that's about it. <laughs> <Good night. laughs> Yeah, a lot of the kids even here at our school at Liberty Academy, they watch it every day. Matter of fact, you know, I teach a drama class, and just the other day I had them do a report on one of the episodes. And so, um, you know, those papers better be due tomorrow. Right. They better have them done. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, they watch them every day in the morning care, after care, you know, so it still has an effect 10 years, 12 years later. And, you know, um, Tiff, um, Tracy mentioned something about uh, the prisoners. You know, I, I do prison ministry now, and uh, they have the series, The Awakening, in I would say at least 50% of the prisons in Illinois. The, the series wow. is there. Yeah. 
really? You know, yeah. because every prison that we go to, they have a night where they, it's called the awakening night. No, no. kidding. Where, yeah, really? Where they would watch the program, you know, wow. and a lot of them, I mean, I was a product of, of, of uh, I got saved in prison. So um, I know that it's, it's real. You know, a lot of people say that it's not, you know, you get in there, you, you know, you yes to Jesus when you're there. Mm -hmm. And then when you leave out, you're doing the same thing you were doing before you went in. And of course, yeah, I'm pretty sure some people do do that, mm -hmm. you know, but for the most part, the guys that I've met, you know, that I've been interacting, I've been doing that for eight years now. Um, these guys are so on fire for the Lord, you mm -hmm. know, and a lot of them tell me that it was that program, wow. the awakening mm -hmm. that woke them up inside. Wow. After the fact, yes, but inside there so that mm -hmm. when they get out, you know, they'll be able to be productive citizens. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that 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 there alone, it blows me away. That's you know, amazing. every time I, you know, they, somebody tells me, gives me a testimony about it. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, the thing is having mm -hmm. such an impact, you know, we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll never phantom it. <laughs> well, a lot of the things that was going on behind the scenes, um, we were like we're doing right now. We were just having fun, yeah, you know. Sometimes when, it, yeah, yeah, when it'd be a cut on, when we'd cut, you know, mm -hmm. we'd just start talking about each other, just have some, yeah. just to stay awake. Number one, right, <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, we're here till like two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning sometimes. Right. So, uh, you know, we'd uh, uh, just you know have a good time, stop and eat or something. Uh, somebody go get something to eat or whatever. We're like a family. We all just like any family, though. People get on your nerves now. <laughs> yes. But we all love yeah. each other, <laughs> and um, we all work pretty well together. Mm -hmm. yeah. And one of the things that helped us to gel as a family is that we would pray together right. before and after every um, every time we filmed so that helped us to get closer mm -hmm. yeah, and it was a very important to that we prayed because we were playing these characters you know um, so and we're putting on these mantles so we would pray before and we also pray after take these mantles off mm -hmm. so that was very important prayer prayed a good part in, in uh, what we did as yeah. far as filming on a pretty much a daily basis right every yes. day, yeah, every day. <laughs> Tuesday through and then go Saturday. to work yeah <laughs> and yeah, school work. yeah, <laughs> yeah so you got them, 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 them late late uh -huh. nights and early mornings so right. oh yeah i remember i remember definitely leaving after filming going home and getting dressed and going to work oh my <laughs> literally yeah. but we had a good time hey, man, um, Barry. Barry. Me. <laughs> pretty much me Barry wesley too yeah uh, uh, wesley ray wesley ray antonio perez and, and barry, barry turner it's the main one though right here it's the you main don't want one him here. to laugh man this guy no. starts laughing at you man he's got a laugh to just like that oh, yeah. He starts laughing at <laughs> <laughs> I, ain't got the nerve to be shy, I believe one of the things that helped um, Perez and I gel so much, or gel so well, is that um, we're very good friends off camera. And we've been that way for a long time, so that helped us perform very well because we're very good friends. I may be a little redundant by saying this regarding Perez and myself, mm -hmm. are very good friends off camera, so that helped us gel well on camera. We may do little practical things off camera that helped us um, work very well on camera. As for the rest of them, I don't particularly like them. <laughs> <laughs> Just being, I guess, being brought up the way I was with my mom and dad, apostle, you wasn't allowed to get a big head. You wasn't allowed to let it go to your head. And just in the, it was just instilled in me that, you know, first and foremost, it's, it's the Lord. It's God. Um, outside of who you are, this is still a ministry. You're still witnessing. And um, it's not about you. Right. And that was something that was ingrained in me. So. And, you, you know, a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of times, too, with the younger people that were on the program, I mean, we were always myself, Simmons, oh, yeah. Barry, mm -hmm. and the other uh, older gentlemen that were on the program would always look out, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Make sure that they weren't, mm -hmm. you know, getting a fat head. Although, you know, I got kind of like a fat head a little bit. You <laughs> did know? you? I did, I did. You would mm -hmm. never know it. Dude, I mean, you know, <laughs> my, my wife noticed it. <laughs> she knows it on two accounts. Uh, she noticed it, and, um, Got on my case about it, yeah. you know, yeah. put a pin in it, and <laughs> deflated it. So yeah, but yeah, it, it was it was it was not hard to get a big head. You know, you got all these people admiring you. There's adulation coming from everybody, and 
you know, it wasn't, it wasn't, you know, it was hard. embarrassing so, to me. But, you know, at times it was, too, you know, you, you, know, you kind of get tired of it. You're like, man, not again, you know. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. you know, you, all, you have to realize one thing that we had to 